Icing one's testicles may sound on the surface like a um, unwise, unwise thing and uh, irrational and potentially mentally problematic thing to do. But there is actually a great deal of evidence that does suggest that icing your testicles for approximately 20 minutes per day before you go to bed may actually be a really conducive thing if you're looking to optimize your testosterone. So I once heard this and I thought, uh, well, I kind of passed it off for the first time, but then I got curious. I got curious because I know there's uh, no end to the self-improvement um, you know, actions and habits and, and suggestions, which may be pushing the, uh, the boundaries of, let's say, rational logic. But I think there is some significant weight to this one, and I wanted to share with you what I have. So my map, as per usual, is going to dive into the testosterone tool of icing your testicles that you never knew. So what is the rationale first and foremost? Why would why would anyone choose to do such a thing? So the urologist based in the Philippines identified that testicles, of course, hang outside the body and are separate from the rest of the body because they function at a temperature lower than the body's normal temperature. And I'm sure if you're a man, if you went to sex education, if you understand basic biology, you know this, but I'm here to remind you of this, that warmer temperatures in the groin area tend to produce less than ideal sperm in terms of morphology and mobility. Spermatogenesis as well, which is the sperm production, happens best when testicles are slightly lower than body temperature, around 95 to 96 Fahrenheit. And they also counteract previously damaged sperm and can improve function. Um, there are, I, I, I think the simple answer to the question that many of you will be asking in terms of why I'm considering, or why you should consider putting, uh, you know, test, uh, putting testicles on your testicles, putting testicles in your eyes, putting ice on your testicles is, we're too hot. We're far too hot. Everything in life is balance. And you will find most success in every single facet of life when you have a balance between the yin and the yang. And you have a balance between hot and cold or comfortable and uncomfortable or too much work and too little play. Same thing when it comes to optimizing your testosterone is that too much heat is a stressor on the body as well as sitting in a hot tub or sauna if you like your hot showers and hot baths. If you're wearing tight fitted underwear which is something that I do and I need to look into maybe another option if I'm going to look to maximize my testosterone production. If you do any, any intense cycling or uh, I would say in general um, um, aerobic work like running or maybe swimming, maybe not too much. Um, working with your laptop on your lap. Mm. Got a big lithium battery burning away inches from your testicles. Of course, it's going to incur undue side effects. And Russian powerlifters, interestingly enough, used to ice their balls before competing uh, back before they were all on uh, all on the source. So what is the proof? I mean, I have explored some of the Reddit forums around this because I didn't want to take the rationale at its word, but here are some of what uh, these guys had to say. I'm not going to perhaps read all of these. Perhaps you can read these in your own time. But let's just take a couple of these. I started icing my testicles 10 minutes before going to bed and sometimes 5 to 10 minutes in the morning as well. I noticed a little, not exaggerated increase in strength, libido, and a, I needed far less hours of sleep. Sleep, Overall lifestyle improved. Do you think this is a placebo or is the ice and the testicles actually increasing testosterone levels? Here's the thing with placebo as well, guys, is even if it does give you the results that you want, it's giving you the results you want. So why would you care if it was a placebo otherwise? This individual has been experimenting with cold showers. This is also something I, I would encourage and, and, and why I think um, maybe if you're already integrating cold showers or cold exposure, I do cold dips in the ocean all the time, um, why you might not need to do this. And trust me, there's nothing that shrinks your testicles quicker than a cold shower, cold bath, and certainly getting into the February uh, UK English Ocean. No, it definitely won't. It will turn them into little raisinets. So, um, this individual came across several studies demonstrating the efficacy of scrotal hypothermia on sperm count and motility. In the past three days, he's been using an ice pack, not directly on the balls, for about five 
minutes two to three times per day, and the results have been better than ever. Libido has gone through the roof. If anyone wants to add studies below, feel free. For the men out there, give this a shot and report back. Other people noticing as well. Some people have seen an individual on YouTube double, double their testosterone levels. Crazy. And this has also been discussed on more plates, more dates, Derek, and uh, show some show some utility. So practically, if you're looking at doing this, what should you do? Well, I first need to warn you to be careful of skin burns. Do not place ice on your bare testicles. That's not what you're doing here. You will f- you will fuck yourself up. Um, I found that frozen peas works better in a in a bag, um, and you want to put it on outside. Or, or have at least a, a, sh- uh, a fairly thin layer of material. So, you know, in your boxer shorts is fine. Or even I find if you're wearing boxer shorts and joggers, you can just put it on top of the joggers and it'll get the same effect. Um, before bed, 20 minutes. And guys, I, I, I think here the practical part of this is that this isn't sh- something that you, you should be spending all of your attention on. Meaning, you know, I'm not expecting anybody to put in there into their, uh, you know, reminders, oh, must sit down and ice my balls for 20 minutes before I go to sleep. But it's something you can stack with something else. So I like to wind down some days reading a book and that is an easy stack to pair. So whenever I'm reading a book, I take my frozen peas out of my freezer. I just put them on my testicles and I'll just read for 20 minutes. And again, no harm, no dumb. It's not, it's not uncomfortable at all. It's actually quite pleasantly soothing because again, your test- testicles are already very, very hot. Um, the literature that I've read suggests that anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes for a month may increase sperm count by up to 100%. So, uh, what's my personal experience been with this? Again, my anecdotal uh, experience, I, I, I hope, has got some weight to it, but certainly vigor and energy. Um, I think I, I might experiment with doing this more in the morning because I feel a little bit more heightened a little bit more energy when I'm trying to wind down as I'm doing this so I'm, I'm, I'm going to substitute that for the morning um, heightened awareness uh, and, and I don't know if that's a consequence of spike in testosterone or it might be just because the cold is a mild stressor but again it, it's not uncomfortable I know it sounds uncomfortable ice testicles it's not uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable at all it's, it's, it's rather soothing and again my libido has been very, very high as a consequence of that, but I don't know if that could be the ESR or not. But anyway, gentlemen, interesting chat, Um, perhaps can raise a couple eyebrows in the the pub, in the clubs, in uh, social uh, situations, but I think there is some weight to it. I don't think it sounds very, very foolish when you understand that the testicles are outside the body for a reason. They're supposed to be cold. They're not supposed to be all scrunched up and boiled like some boiled eggs. They're supposed to hang free with a nice healthy breeze. Uh, but I think, um, let's say, the the, the 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 confines of modern society might not find that uh, particularly compelling. So we may need to take uh, things into our own hands and in the uh, in the privacy of our own homes. Uh, optimize ice, optimize some frozen peas, I think you might see some benefits to it. But like I always say, gentlemen, these are just theories. Take what is valuable, discard what is not, and let me know how you are doing maybe in a week's time. Speak soon.